natal mercury in cancer in this video i'm going to be discussing natal mercury in cancer natives everything you need to know about this placement and what you can expect when someone has their natal mercury in cancer all right so let's get into it now the first thing these people mentally think a lot about family home domestic matters and the past our mercury sign tells us the type of things that we think a lot about right because mercury has to do with our thoughts communication and mental patterns cancer has to do with family home domestic matters and the past so you will find that when people have this placement this is what they think a lot about and put a lot of mental energy on family home domestic matters and the past these people are always focused mentally on emotional security. Again, Mercury has to do with what we think about a lot, what dominates our minds. Cancer has to do with emotional security. So these people are always focused mentally on emotional security, meaning how to achieve emotional security and feel emotionally secure. These people communicate with their mother and women a lot more than they do men and the father. They are said to be great listeners, okay? Cancer is ruled by the mother and women. So when people have this placement, they, they tend to spend a lot more time communicating with their mother and with women than they interact with men and their father. And they're said to be great, empathetic listeners. They can be very defensive and take the things that people say personal this is the downside to natal mercury and cancer and communicating with these people is they can be very defensive and they take the things that people say personal it's easy for them to nurture others cancer is associated with being a very nurturing sign so when you talk to these people and you communicate with them and you build a connection with them it tends to feel like they're nurturing and they nurture you they make you feel like you have an emotional connection with them it's very easy for them to connect emotionally with others this is similar to having Mercury in the fourth house because Cancer rules the fourth house. So if you have this placement, you want to make sure you study natal Mercury in the fourth house as well because Cancer rules the fourth house. And you will find that that information when you study Mercury in the fourth house sounds a lot like you and probably resonates with you. Celebrity example, Princess Diana. Now it's very easy to see how Princess Diana had her Mercury in Cancer is because she built up a reputation for being a very kind, empathetic, sympathetic person. She did a lot of charity work. She was very family oriented. She had a very close connection with her boys. I think she had three sons. So she was known for being very mother-like and having this mother-like energy. And I can guarantee you it had a very, a, a, the big part of why she was so motherly and had that nurturing motherly energy is because it was her mind, her mercury and cancer she naturally thought a lot about family home domestic matters the past emotional security and her boys her boys which was her family right all right and then that's everything you need to know about natal mercury and cancer thank you for taking the time out to watch my video like share subscribe comment down below